सो क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री फॉर कन्वर्जन ऑफ सी एफ जी टू सी एन एफ डिजाइन अ सी एन एफ ग्रामर फॉर अ सेट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग्स ऑफ बैलेंस्ड पैरेंथीस सो सोल्यूशन सेज अ कॉन्टेक्स्ट फ्री ग्रामर फॉर बैलेंस्ड पैरेंथीस इज गिवन बाई दिस वेर द सेट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन आर दीज सो दीज आर योर सेट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू रिमूव द एबसाइलेंट प्रोडक्शन द यूनिट सिम्बॉल्स एंड द यूजलेस सिम्बॉल्स द यूनिट प्रोडक्शन एंड द यूजलेस सिम्बॉल्स सो बेसिकली यू हैव टू सिंप्लीफाई द ग्रामर सो इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई द ग्रामर यू विल रिमूव दिस एबसाइलेंट प्रोडक्शन वॉट यू गेट यू गेट दिस एज योर इक्वेलेंट प्रोडक्शन आफ्टर सिंप्लीफिकेशन ऑफ ग्रामर Now to convert it into a Chomsky normal form, you know, for a Chomsky normal form, what are the two things allowed in the RHS? Only two ter- non-terminal symbols are allowed. So only two non-terminals are allowed, and only one terminal is allowed in the RHS for Chomsky normal form. So here, if you see, there are two brackets. Now these brackets are not allowed. So you will replace them. with a non terminal or you can say with a variable so we say c1 will be replaced by a opening bracket and c2 will be replaced by a closing bracket so your new production will be p2 will be equal to s opening bracket is c1 s c2 or c1 c2 and s is to s is and what are the new production c1 is replaced with opening bracket c2 is replaced with a closing bracket so these are the two new productions now in chomsky normal form we cannot have three non terminal symbols so we only need two ter- non terminal symbols so what we'll do we will say that replace c3 will be replaced with s c2 so you replace this part with a c 3 so s is so the new productions will be s is c1 c3 slash c1 c2 s is two capital s is c3 is s c2 because this was your new c1 is your opening bracket C two is your closing bracket. So here they have done a blunder. Here it will be C three changes to S C two. S is C one C three C one C two and S S. C one is opening bracket. C two is a closing bracket. So this is your Chomsky normal form because this is satisfying the conditions of the Chomsky normal form. Let's see the another example. This is your question number four, which says, convert the following grammar to a Chomsky normal form. Ah, so in this, if you see, first is step number one, to eliminate the epsilon productions. There are no epsilon productions. Step number two, eliminate any unit symbols. There are no unit symbols. Also, step number three is to eliminate the useless symbols. In useless symbols, we have seen in the previous lecture, there are two. useless symbols one is the non generating symbols and the another one is the non reachable symbols so in this if you see b is a non reachable symbol why because a is dependent on s c s is a b a so we say that a is dependent on s but b is not dependent on s not dependent on s so we say that s cannot be reached with the help of b with the help of b so because you cannot reach s with the help of b we say that b is a non reachable symbol 
so we will eliminate any productions having b so you have eliminate thing b a c so you get the simplified version as s is a b a or a a b now we know that in a uh, chomsky normal form uh, what are the criteria for a chomsky normal form we know that the r h s should not contain more than one terminal symbol uh, but if you see here you have more than one terminal symbols uh, so what we'll do we'll replace the terminal symbols with ca replaced with a and cb replaced with b with two variables we'll replace the non terminal symbols so the new set of production will be s will be a c b c a slash c a c a c b now again this is not allowed for a chomsky normal form you cannot have more than two non terminals but here you have a three non terminals so what we'll do we'll say c1 you will replace with c b c a and c2 you will replace it with c a c b so this will be replaced by a c2 and this will be replaced by a c1 so your new productions will be s is a c1 c1 is c b c a s is c a c2 s is c a c2 and c2 is c a c b so this is satisfying the conditions of chomsky normal form that is you have only two non terminals on the r h s so here you have only two non terminals on the r h s so this was your question number 4 let's see the next question this is question number 5 convert the following grammar to a cnf chomsky normal form so the step number 1 for conversion is eliminate epsilon productions eliminate epsilon productions so here you can see a has a epsilon production so s will be changed to a a c d remove this a because it is null you get a c d remove both the a's you get c d then instead of a a you have a a b you will remove this a because it is a null you get a b c a c slash a and one more a is there a d a slash b d b slash epsilon epsilon will be removed the now next is eliminate unit productions uh, step number 2 step number 2 is eliminate unit productions but if you can see there are no unit productions so skip this step step number 4 uh, so step number 3 we'll move on to step number 3 step number 3 is eliminate uh, useless symbols uh, useless symbols now we know there are two types of useless symbols non generating and non reachable first check for non generating symbols uh, so i'm checking for non generating symbols uh, now in the previous part lectures we saw that for non generating symbol always start with terminals uh, that is small a and small b in this case you have only two terminals small a small b small a small b small a small a small a small b so with the help of small a small b you can get a capital a so we'll write here capital a gives small a small b so add that a 
B capital A. Now with the help of small a, small b and capital A. Check whether you can get anything. You cannot get anything. So we say that only these three symbols are generating. Others all symbols are non-generating. So A is generating. Okay, with this help of small a, we are also getting a C. So we'll write here with the help of C you are getting with the help of small a. So A, B, A and a capital C. So A, B, A, C is generating symbols. Because C is giving small a. So next we'll check A, C. No. So we found that S is non-generating. Even D is non-generating. So we write here. Therefore S and D are non-generating symbols. Or you can say they are useless symbols. Now S is a start symbol. So, S is because S is a start symbol and it is non-generating. S is a start symbol and non-generating. We say that the grammar is invalid. Symbol. Therefore, we conclude the grammar is invalid so you will not have a chomsky normal form for an invalid grammar